we're gonna be showing you how you can kind of streamline your workflows and creativity with Firefly. Firefly boards. Is this a place to brainstorm and just throw out ideas? So I've kind of already started this. It's called Imagination. A lot of times I'll like start with images because I actually have some in here. Like I'll drop in these because I'm like, I kind of want to do something off this like androgynous mannequin type person. Yeah, so there we go. I just kind of generated this. So I'll pull this out. And this also says that it's made with Firefly Image Model 3. And on that note, watch what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just selecting the image you generated and the one I got from stock, I'm gonna say, you know, remix those two. We'll see what happens here, but it's gonna generate those. And then here are Whoa. those two remixes. Yeah. It's really cool to just start that inspiration here uh, yeah. in boards. I'm just hitting download. I can take those and start using those in like Photoshop. I want it to look like it's broken apart. So I would jump in here, I'd add a layer mask. I have these like crack brushes. You know, but it's just like taking these and we'll just do this. We'll have them kind of clip to her So puppet warp. It's like, OK, let's put a couple pins down and just kind of make this conform a little bit more to those different planes of her face. Sandwich that up into another smart object. Command J, jump it. And I just kind of go along these cracks and like select this top part, duplicate it. If you drag this down, anytime you have a selection, it just duplicates the layer and keeps your selection. And then we'll just like eliminate. So now I have the top part of the head. Oh. I could do an option drag on the second one. So now I have this second one, but I want the inverse of that. So command I, so I duplicated the layer mask and then I, and then I inverted it. And now we have like our two parts that we can kind of separate out like so. We'll, we'll export this and, and what I like to do is I'll kind of work in tandem because I'll have uh, Firefly up. I just have that straight image, but what we did is we made this whole new image. So this is where we kind of started and I said, no, I want more oh, control. Wow. Oh, let's do this. Now I have this made. So the, the goal is like, I might be able to get bits and pieces from what gets generated here. Strengths cranked all the way up. I want a Greek statue of a young person. And I even have this one I did earlier. So I could download that. This has more texture than my original, right? Here's my original. And I should be able to replace her with any other version that I might have downloaded or, or want to use. Because they're all smart objects. Yeah. It's gonna do all of your edits, Paul. That's insane. It should. I mean, there's a smart object in a smart object. Yes, it's you know, just so... In a smart object. <laughs> No, ooh, you know, I really like the lighting that's happening here, though. Yes. The lighting is cool. So this is brand new, which is cool. You have this generation like history of all the things that, you know, you've made. So you can come in here and this is kind of my like my library. Flowers are probably something I'll use. Like here they are. I just said, hey, exotic flowers blooming on a black background. I just drag that video directly into Photoshop. Since there's a video now in there, you have this timeline. We'll go like four seconds in. I'm going to turn on transform. We'll move it over here like that. And then frame one, it's going to be like right here and we'll move it into place. We have two new plans. We have a Creative Cloud Pro plan, which is if you have all apps, that becomes the Creative Cloud Pro plan, $10 more a month. And you get all the Firefly stuff, which I could generate up to like 40 videos. I can translate audio. I could do pretty much anything I want and use all the generative AI features. And then also there's a Creative Cloud standard plan. So that's typically $5 less if you don't want to generate video and stuff. The cool thing is you get a choice. If you don't want to use the stuff, don't use the stuff. Like, guess what? It's going to be cheaper for you. If you do, great. There is a blog that goes through all the details of those, uh, how the generative credits work, all that stuff. Here's, oh my goodness. Here's another one I was just like working on. It's too, it's, it got crazy. Thank you so much for joining us, Paul. 